Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, Teacher. Jose. How are you? I'm great. Excellent. Same. Very good. Hi, Williams. Hi, Eric. Diego, Walter. Magdiel, Rocio, Lisette, Manuel, Norma. Very good. Nice to have everybody in class. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Fine, good. How about you? I'm okay. Thank you. Very good. So are you guys going to work or you're staying at home on this quarantine? What are you doing? I stay at home. You stay at home? All right. Williams, what about you? You work? Or you stay at home? home All, right. All right. Okay, very good. And Jose, in your case? Yes, me too. I am home. All right. Okay. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and Rocio, you're, you're, you're going to work, Rocio, or you stay home? I guess Rosie is not around. All right, very good. And most of you guys, they have to like go to work and most of you also stay at home. That's good. All right, hi, Noe. Hi, Noe, me. Very good. All right, guys, very good. So welcome again to another class. This is class number two. Who was not in class yesterday? Everybody was in class with me yesterday? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, very good. Hi, Normita, nice to see you. All right, I don't see you, but I know you're there. <laughs> All right, very good. That's okay, no, don't worry about it. Okay, guys, so let's begin. Yesterday, we were talking about um, past participles as adjectives. All right, hi, Lisa. And we are now, we're talking about a little bit about the same, just to review. And then we're also talking about reporting problems using nouns. So two are ways of reporting problems are very commonly used, all right? So it's okay, you can say either either or, all right? So we're getting ready here and I'm going to share my presentation I have for you here. And this is it, this is what we studied yesterday, past participles as adjectives, and today we're gonna go on with nouns, all right? So we have here describing problems, okay? So this is the way to describe problems and we have, we can describe problems using the following structures, we have two. All right, when I say two is that we have two ways of expressing the same idea, all right, using different things, but at the end is the same thing, okay? So number one, it says past participles as adjectives. The example, Williams, can you read the examples, please, for number one? Yes. Uh, the lining is torn. The lining is torn, very good, yes. The tabletop is damaged. Very good. The base is cheaper. It's chipped, all right, it's chipped. chipped. Very good, thank you. And the structure, let's see, oh my goodness, this is stuck. And the structure that we had here, Lisette, can you read the structure, please? Perfect plus. The structure, subject plus B plus past participle as adjective. As adjective, thank you, Lisette. Lisette, you were not in class yesterday, were you? Not teaching. No, I, I was working. I know, Lisa. How are you doing with all this? Everything okay? Everything okay. okay. Yes. I'm glad to see you and that you're safe. Very good. Okay. So, subject plus B plus past participle as adjective. So, let's go back to the example, which is, is the jacket. That's the subject. The su sorry, the, the, the jacket lining is the subject. Mm -hmm. Is is the verb be. Torn is the past participle as adjective, okay? So in this case, it's not a verb, it's acting as an adjective, okay? Or we can say the tabletop is damaged. Again, tabletop is the subject, is is the verb be, and damaged is the past participle as adjective. Why is it an adjective? Because it's describing how the tabletop is, is damaged. How is the uh, jacket li uh, lining is torn? How is the vase? The vase is chipped, all right? Like castillada, like quebrada, all right? So that's the, that's the structure that you need to follow. And today, we're learning another way to describe, describe problems, which is number two. Manuel, can you read number two, please? Manuel Arias? Okay, uh, the examples? It just, yeah, it says with nouns, the examples, yes, ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, it has a tear in it. In it. it has a tear in it, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a hole in, in it. All right, very good. Another one? Uh, there is someone damage on top. There is some damage on top. Very good. And letter C? Uh, there is a chip in it. There is a chip in it. All right. So if you notice, 
in these ones where like for an examples number one the example number one we're using has all right he has a tear on in it. has we're not using is we're not using the verb be unless we use there is or we use there are as an example a like after the, the dash here we say there is a hole in it okay so we're using there is or you can use there are or you can use have or has depending like on the quantity of the things that you're talking about so the structure jose rodriguez can you read the structure the structure at the bottom okay the structure is subjects plus have plus noun or there is there are all right so if we're going to use have or has, we're going to use the subject. In this case, it's going to be it. All right, it has. All right, what does it have? A tear in it. All right, or you can use there is or there are, and then you have to use the noun. We're not using it as an as a past participle anymore. We just use the noun. All right. Let's go on here. Describing problems. Uh, we have. Let me see here. Eric, Abarca, can you read describing problem with past participles? Yeah. With past participle as adjective, the jacket lining is torn. All right. This is what we studied yesterday. The jacket lining is a subject. Is is the verb be because it's only one jacket lining and torn is the past participle. Now, if you would have many jacket linings torn, then you say the jacket linings are torn. So the verb be will depend on if it's singular or if it's plural, all right? In this case, the example is singular. That is why we're using is, okay? And then we have the next one. We have this one, describing problems with nouns, all right? So let's see, uh, Walter, can you read please? Waltercito, Walter Guerrero, are you there? Yes. Can you read, please? Yes. Can you read it? Okay. With nouns, it has a tear. All right. So the, we. Mm -hmm. The structure. That's subject, right. Subject. Have, mm -hmm. uh, have a noun. Right. It could be have or has, right? Depending on uh, what you have, all right? Or the other way, Walter? Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat the, again, please? Yes, can you read the other one? There is, uh-huh. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, there is there is a hole, and the structure is there is, or there are, and now. Right. That's right, okay? There is a hole, all right? There are holes, you have many holes, all right? Or there are many holes on the street or something, or on hmm. the blouse, or on the wherever you were talking about, okay? So that is the difference between this one that we studied yesterday all right and this one that we're studying today okay so here we have this is what happens guys and this is for example you say a tear or torn a damage or damaged what is in red is it noun or is it past participle as adjective guys What's noun what is a uh, what is on red is a noun and what is in baby blue or in light blue it is it's a past participle. So, past participle as adjective. as adjective, all right? So a chip or chipped, a dent or dented, all right? That usually happens with the cars. We leave them like nicely on the parking lot. And then when we come back, oh no, there is a big dent on the, uh, on the car, all right? And nothing, nobody saw anything, all right? Here we have another one, all right? A crack, crack, some scratches. In this case, it's scratched a stain stained all right so we can like use it either as a, as adjectives past participles as adjectives or we can use them as nouns and it's the same thing all right so magdiel with the example of a crack can you tell me a sentence using the picture that you see there and using it with a noun not a as adjective Magdiel, can you try? No, 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 Magdiel, no, you're not there. Rocio, are you there? 
Can you hear me? Oh, Magdiel, very good. All right. Magdiel, can you give us an example using okay. a crack and use it as a noun, not as an adjective? Mm, a crack. Mm. Remember, object plus have or has, or there is, there are, and then use a noun. Mm, I don't know, teacher. All right, that's okay. That's okay, Magdiel, don't worry about it. Diego, can you try? Diego Galicia, can you try? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be like, a, mm, there is a crack. All right, there is a crack. Where? And the what? On the, the wall. On the oh, wall, yeah. right? Or you say, the wall has a crack. All right? Oh, okay. Or you say, the wall is cracked. All right, so you can say, like, you can say the same thing in, very, in three different ways. Yeah, okay. the wall has a crack. Yes. Uh, a, uh, yes, there is a crack on the wall. Yes, tell me. Another example. Yes. Another example, it could be the floor is a crack. The floor has a crack or the floor is cracked. Okay. 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 okay right. cool. Yeah, did you follow me? Yeah. All right. So if you're using it as a noun, it has to say the wall, the floor has a crack. All right, or that's an, as a noun, as an adjective, the floor is cracked. Yeah? Yeah, guys, are you following me, Noemi? Okay. Yeah, you understand, Noé? Yep. So, so, Noé, a ver, lo vamos a escribir, Noé, porque ha de ser que no es la única. All right, veamos aquí, Noé. ¿Puede ver lo que voy a escribir, Noé? Can you see? The wall, oops, the wall. The wall has a crack, yeah? The wall has a crack. This, we're using it as a noun, this sentence. Why? Because we have it here. This one right here, it's a noun. The wall has a crack. We're using subject, which is the wall, have or has, because we're talking about one wall. That's why we're using has, and then a crack, that's a noun. Or we can say, uh, there is a crack on the wall. All right, again, we're using it as a noun. All right, we're using there is, and we're using crack here. So that's a noun, or we can say the same thing. Can help, someone can help me here to do it as an adjective? Anybody with helping me here to make it as an adjective? Mm. Uh -huh, For example, uh, the floor is cracked. Excellent. Very good. The, oops, my goodness. Is uh, cracked. It has to be like this on the presentation. I think it's missing the ED. All right. We're not going to do it. We're going to do it purple. All right. So the floor is cracked. We're saying exactly the same thing, but there are three ways of saying it. You understand that? Guys, do you understand Noemi, entendió? Yeah, Anita, Ana, Edith, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Nice to see you. Fine, thank you. All right, teacher, uh, sorry to be late. That's okay, mm -hmm. yes, Walter. The last one is like a- uh, As an adjective. Uh, an adjective, sorry. Yeah. As an adjective, sorry, I didn't write it. Adjective. Yeah. Teacher, the yes. difference is because the verb the verb is ending in ed. Yeah. And also mm -hmm. describe the 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 situation for the yeah. the floor. Verb, the right. floor. Yeah. The subject. It describes the subject. Okay. The subject. So in this case, Norma, what what we do is we take the verbs, all right, into past uh, past participle, and then we put them at the end. When you do that, Norma, then they don't, they are no longer verbs and they become adjectives. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. They are called, that's it. why, that's why it's called past participles as adjectives, not as verbs. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are not really like telling you an action, they are a condition. That's why it's an adjective because it's describing how the floor is. All right. And that's why we have to use the verb be, because when you say you are beautiful, 
you're describing. The adjectives help you describe, right? So okay. you use of the verb be because when we use the verb be, we describe, we, we, we give conditions, situations, and things like that. Nothing is an action, all right? So in this case, we're using the past participles of the verbs, and then we switch them to adjectives because they are using or they are describing how the floor is in this case, yeah? Okay. All right. Noe, you understand? So, so, Noe? Uh, uh, so, so, why? I, I understand. Yeah, are you sure? Yes. No, and, and it, convinced. <laughs> yes. It is difficult, but um, and the to use and the verb. Right. In, yeah. And use the adjective or the noun. Right. Yes. And the use the noun is the to form. Right. And the use has a crack uh -huh. or there is crack. That's right. There is a crack. Right. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, oh, when oh, you sorry. use only adjective, it's only the verb be. Yes, ma'am. All right, yeah, you understand? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, okay, thank you. Anybody else? Do you guys have questions? Please ask me because that's the idea of the classes, all right? To make sure that you guys are Teacher, understanding. Uh, yes. I, I have a question. Yes. With the last sentence, mm -hmm. why why we don't use was in instead of is? Oh, it depends, Daniel. I mean, if you're, for example, if you, if you repair the floor, then you say, oh yeah, I remember the floor was cracked. You can, you can switch, I mean, you can change the tense of the sentence anyway. And that okay. would be okay, all right? Okay. Or you can say the floor will, I mean, will be cracked if there's an earthquake, all right? Yeah. So you can actually say it in the future. All right, so right now we're using it in the present because that's how the platform is like teaching you right now, but we can change the tenses. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, if you repair your house, you say, ah, oh, teacher, this used to be cracked. I mean, it's not cracked anymore. There was a crack on the floor, but there's no crack anymore. Yeah? Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, so here, guys, we're gonna go on. This is what I want you to do. Well, you know what? <laughs> Let's do this together. A ver, we have, remember that these, at the, at the very beginning, these are verbs, okay? We switch them to past participles so they can become adjectives, okay? So we have damage as a verb. What is the past participle of damage? Damage. 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 ED, damage. right? ED, very good. What about as a noun? Uh, Damage. 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 All right. Damage. Very good. What about chip? Chip. 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 Chipped. All right. Chipped. And you have to double the P. Chip. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And Chip. what about as a noun? E D. Chip. 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 A chip. All right. Yeah. Chip. A chip. Also. Right. And then you have a stain. What is the past participle as an adjective? A stain. 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 All right. And as a noun? A stain. 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 A stain, right? Very good. A scratch as past participle? Scratch. Scratched. Remember the You don't say scratched. You say scratched. Scratched. Very good. And as a noun? A scratch. Scratch. Very good. And lick is different because you cannot say licked. It's licking. Licking. All right. That's the, that's the only one that, I mean, that's the only one that we're studying right now that changes to ing. All right. And then you say ah. As a noun? A lick. A lick. A lick. Very good. Okay. Now, this is also very important for you to understand. These are, these are like collocations. When to use what? For example, when you talk about glass, glasses are like china, like, um, that's a, I don't know, the ceramica and stuff. All right. Yes. So, all right. You can say chip, you can say crack, or you can say scratch. All right, usted no dice que mi taza está con un, like, una bolladura. All right, this is the astillada o está quebrada. All right, so you don't say dent. Dent is like in, en los carros pasa. When you are driving and then you hit a car and you have a big, come on, that we say in Spanish, 
all right we have a dent that's for the for like car and stuff for paper and clothes we say a stain and we say a tear on it all right for plastic it's a crack or scratch for wood you can say chip also a scratch or stain and metal you can say dent crack or scratched all right so those like that i i really like this um chart because it gives you like how to say things all right for which material all right that you can say is it chipped is it dent is it crack is it scratch is stain or is it tear or it has a tear on it yeah okay here we have can you take a picture of this please i'm gonna make it bigger hold on take a picture of this Yes, teacher, can can you return at the at the that? This one? yes? Let me one moment. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Done. Yes, teacher. Thanks. All right. Very good. Okay. So this, take a picture of this one, please. <clears throat> all right uh can you take a picture of hold on you know what no no that one this one this one mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay yes okay so this is what i want you to do guys here uh, this one, it says, look at the pictures and choose an appropriate adjective for each problem. So, for example, you're going to see the jeans, so you're going to see the picture of the jeans, and you say the jeans are torn, you can say the jeans are chipped, or the jeans are broken, all right? So, you decide which one, all right? And then you do the same thing for the CD, the, the car, uh, the faucet, and the scale. And for this one, what I want you to do is I'm going to complicate here a little bit. I want you to write for number one, for all of them, from number one, two, three, four, five, and six, I want you to write a sentence using it as an, as an adjective and a sentence using it as a noun. The same information, okay? But you okay. decide, I mean, for every, for, you're going to have 12 sentences. Yes, you understand? One as yeah. participle as an adjective and the other one as a noun. Mm -hmm. when, you, okay. when you start writing the noun sentences, you can decide if you say there is, there are, or you use have or has, that's up to you, yeah? So okay. please try to write it on the computer so when I go to your groups, I can see what you're doing, all right? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, we have, hi, Ellie, I didn't see you getting in. Hi. All right. I like. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. All right, so we have, um, all right, here we go. All right, guys, click on your um, groups. Hi, Rocio.
Mm. Broken. Mm. Hello. With, without C. Hi, teacher. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Flo. Hi, Hi, Walter. Hi, teacher. We're starting to, to write. Okay. That uh, that is for the exercise that I can see on your screen or for the other one? For this one. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the number one, for example, the things are torn. Right, yes, okay. The number two, the city is broken. Sure. And right now we are going to number three. Number three, all right, perfect. The, the car is dent. Dented. Dent. Dented. Yes, very good. Okay. Can Flor hear you? No? We can hear. Oh, all right. The car is dented. Mm -hmm. Dented. Okay, the number four. How set is that? Is the faucet is. I had a doubt. Hi Normita, hi Magdiel. Hey, for the we we put the jeans are torn mm -hmm. is for a noun. Mm -hmm. But if I try to use it an adjective, uh, I don't know is correct for uh, for is there is torness. No, the um, for that one Norma, the past participle of, of that verb is torn. You don't need the ed. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. For the that same one. Bear. Yes. Okay. Why, teacher? Those okay, are like people be very torn. The jeans are torn, or there is ah no no hold on no uh, you are confusing it. The jeans are torn. That's an adjective. The jeans are torn. Oh. That's ah, an adjective. Oh, it's an adjective. And there is a tear in it, or there is a tear. There is a, and then you leave it as. A noun. Noun, yes. The, part, the article A is the difference. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, uh, okay. Very good. Uh, just Norma and Magdiel. Tor is not torn, it's T E A R, tear. Tear. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tear. In the, cor no, in the, no, the other one. Tear. Yeah. Uh, Normita, not on that one, on the other. other. Yeah, on the first, as an adjective, is torn. torn. Yeah, very good. Torn. Okay, yeah, very good. In the noun? As a noun? It's tear. It's, uh, huh? Tear. Yeah. Uh, but it's the same verb. Yeah, the, you know what changes? It changes, the pronunciation changes. As a verb is tear, and as a noun is tear. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. And this one is mistake. Which one? Let me check. And the, the sample? Dice T O R N. No, por, está bien porque es un adjetivo eh, um, normal. Lo que pasa es que es un adjetivo, digamos que es irregular, que no termina irregular, con R. Irregular, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I, I had a, a confused because I don't remember if that's uh, irregular era in the past. is. Tor, T U R N. No. It is an irregular verb. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Cómo va Santa Ana, yeah. Norma? Uh, I, the, the people always out at a house. Yeah. But, uh, in my case, I continue working every yes. day. I know, Norma, I know. But first start, we had a, a, all the, the the security measure yes. inside the the, the, the company, building, mm -hmm. the company, and the other is the people is, is less than the normal amount of the people per plan. Okay. Because we only had three three. 300 people okay. around. Okay. But the normal plan had 2,000 wow. people. Yeah, that's and, a big difference now. Uh -huh. And for this reason, it, it, the people are in different places mm -hmm. and, and no have a, 
a concentrate it. Right, yeah, yeah. We, we, we put it in different sections in right. order to man, maintain the social the distance. distance. Right, of course. What about what? Magdiel? Magdiel, where do you work? I mean, do you work at home right now or do you go to work every day? No, I got to work every day. All right. Because uh, while I um, I work from for an airline. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And, and, and it's very difficult <laughs> because yeah. uh, every day the client is calling uh, about the... Uh, uh, with the same questions like uh, when uh, when you open in the air oh force okay. and around the world and we don't oh know how goodness. to do it. Of course. Uh, but we try to, to help him, to help them right okay oh my goodness it's difficult right now the whole situation huh yeah it's very difficult because I have my family and and my mom is, is is sick and now and mm. and I have to to go out every day. Of course. With this pandemic, but well, I, I hope uh, nothing will happen. It could, yeah, 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 yeah. And you need to be like really like you guys that you have to go out every day. You have to take your like precautions <laughs> and be aware of everything and. And just, I don't know, I mean, just be careful. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The confidence is in God. Only yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Of course. All right. Okay. Well, I'm very glad you guys are in class and well. that relaxes you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Very I'm good. So keep on working. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye tiempo porque como algunas palabras son ajá Elizabeth why are you speaking Spanish teacher <laughs> what happened Hi. how are you I am fine teacher thank you a little tired yeah. teacher I have yes. a problem what's computer your problem is, my computer is broke broken connect, broken I connect him by my cell phone. Okay. It was a little difficult for me, but Diego, uh, he's he helping helped me. You. Thank you, Diego. That's he very nice of you. Okay, uh -huh. teacher. But okay. tomorrow I will have my computer. Okay. I believe. Okay. That's okay, Elena. I, uh -huh. we are going to, no, we are going, no. Uh, we make the sentence, but I don't know if it's correct. Okay, Let, can I see them, Diego? Do you have the sentences no. around? Oh, okay, on your notebook, perfect. Mm -hmm. There is... All right. Mouth. Mouth? Broken. Mm. As, a can, noun. Uh, as a noun. As a noun? You can, I mean, why don't you use chip? There is, I mean, there is a chip on my mug. Because you cannot to say that. Uh huh, Diego. No, I, I'm confused with, with, with the exercise because I don't know. If you see mm -hmm. at the beginning in letter A, we have the mug is chipped. Right. And then we have. Uh, one mug. So, All right. You know I don't what? know what we are gonna to, to do with. Okay, with hold that. on. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with you here. Hold on. Teacher, so, yeah. just watching the video is nice. Ah, thank you. <laughs> it's not me. Reviewing. I I was reviewing the video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eli. Very good. Yeah. All right. So we can say, for example, can you see right now, Diego and Elizabeth? Yes. All right. Can. So uh, you can say the mug is chipped. All right. That's like the adjective. All right. Chipped is the adjective. Or you can say there is um, mo. Mo. No, there is a chip. There is a chip on my 
on my mug. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah, I get it. Or there, I mean, my mug Very has a chip. I will take a picture. Yeah? Yep. The second one and the third one is like a noun. That's right, right yes. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, or if you say, for example, uh, my blouse is stained as an adjective or there is a stain in my blouse or in my dress all right or my blouse has a stain yeah okay. so the first one is as an adjective and the other two they're like nouns mm -hmm. yeah yep all right mm -hmm. So what you have to do is that, you, for example, for the exercise, what I want you to do is I want you to like, oops, I want you to make um, two sentences, number one and number two. One as an adjective and the other one as a noun. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Very good. All right. I'm going to go to another group and let me know if you need any help. All right. Okay. Okay. This is what you said. The thing has a thorn. Has a thorn. Has a thorn. Uh, Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. All right. Do you have any problems? Are you okay? Uh, I, I, <laughs> no. I'm sorry to be late because I, I don't, I don't have any the the direction for the introduce the class oh okay all right that's okay all right in my ah. cell phone and my cell phone and is is bad there oh, okay all right okay um anna do you know what you're doing you were not in class yesterday do you understand the topic anna uh so so teacher <laughs> really okay <laughs> it, uh, oh. for example in this case Mm -hmm. and we choose the correct yeah in that structure. case yeah you can say or the jeans or are torn or do only you say the second uh, picture in this in the first picture that you have right now here you you only have to to choose which one is how do you say it correctly do you say the jeans are torn or do you say the jeans are chipped mm -hmm. or do you say the jeans are, are broken which one do you think you say for jeans? Torn, chipped, or broken? Torn. Torn, right. That's the torn. only thing that you have to do. What about for number two? The city is broken, or the city is scratched, oh, okay. or the city is torn. What do you think? Scratched. Maybe scratched, all right. Okay, very right. good. What about number three? The car is burned, the car is stained, or the car is dented? Mm -hmm. And the burn it, the car is burning. It's burned, is the uh, quemado? I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. The tent. Dented, yes. Dented is Dented. abollado, like when we la, lo golpeamos y le hacemos uh -huh. un camanance al carro. All right. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The faucet. Entonces, aquí, teacher. Yes, no, no íbamos a, a hacer como lo de la estructura que nos estaba enseñando. No, en la siguiente. Ah, ok. En esta solo o sea, escogían, solo es solo escoger cuál es la que va, como digo algo así, ¿no? Correcto. Ajá, ajá. En la siguiente okay. es donde usted tiene que, por ejemplo, poner una oración como adjetivo y una oración como nombre. All right. Acuérdese que como sí. adjetivo, por lo general, excepto torn, no lleva uh -huh. torned, no, no, no lleva uh -huh. porque solo es torn. Yes. Eh, pero digamos, póngale, yo digo, my, my dress is stained, all right, como adjetivo, o le digo, uh -huh. there is a stain in my dress, that's an, as a noun, o puedo decir, my dress has a stain. Al uh -huh. final, estoy diciendo lo mismo en las tres oraciones, 
solo que de diferente forma. Sí, ok. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ok, ok. All right, very good. Thank si you, necesitan teacher. otra cosa, me, me, ayud, me, me um, piden ayuda. Mm -hmm. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Dijo, mira que es un curso muy bonito. Ya tomándolo desde el principio, ¿no? Sí. Pero, ajá, o se mira que se, se puede lograr muchas cosas. Ya, de hecho, comentaba, me comentaba un muchacho que trabaja con ellos que de, también tienen para preparación TOEFL. Ah, de y, verdad. Sí, me dijo que después de terminar todo el curso está avanzado, se, tomo, se puede tomar ese voto. Ah, pues después lo vamos a tomar con la teacher. Por supuesto, Eli, ¿qué le pasa? That's, great. That's the idea, señorita, llegar hasta allá. Yes. Very good. All right, ¿cómo van? ¿Terminaron? ¿You finished? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Okay, do you have questions or anything? I had a question, uh, but it's not related to this example. I have okay. a question uh, related to... Uh, One, one exercise in the platform. Okay. Uh, okay. And the exercise is the number saying the knowledge checking. Okay. The, ex the exercise say the words really need painting in the selling and the parenthesis damage. Uh -huh. But I don't, I don't have, uh, I don't have idea because uh, I tried that two force as an okay. adjective. Uh, mm -hmm. in, as, as, a, a noun, as a noun, in, and it didn't yeah. work. It, uh, it didn't in, work. Yeah. It's What is a, the exercise, Manuel? Uh, six in the uh, knowledge check. Knowledge check. Ex I mean, knowledge check. Do you remember which knowledge check? The first one. The first one. The first one. Yeah. Question six. Yeah. Question six. All right. Let me check it. All right. And then I can like fix it and then uh, you can like redo it tomorrow. Okay. Okay, yeah, because mm -hmm. I had a, a doubt in this exercise. Okay, yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, let me look at it, okay? Yes, Eli. Okay, thank you. I, yeah. I have a question in the, in the first exercise. <laughs> yes, what happened? Um, I, we have the, we have write all the sentence uh -huh. or only objective or no. For which one, in, Eli? In lesson one, in the first no, let not the first, let's no check. You're talking about the platform, Ellie? Yes, yes. Tell me again, because I, I thought you were talking about the exercise we were doing right now. Can you tell me in again? The, in the first exercise, uh -huh. um, we have uh, write all the sentences or the only word. Adjective or mm. no? Uh, Ellie, I don't remember how the exercise is structured. You know what? I'm going to check it after we finish and then I can text you. Uh -huh. Because I write only, only words. And, and it's wrong. Yes. So it may be the whole sentence, but let me check it, Ellie, okay? So this right. is it, a knowledge check again, Ellie. Yes. Okay. The first. All right. Okay. So let me check it, okay? So I can get back to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. I'm going to go right now because someone is calling me for help. <laughs> okay. The, the, Hello, Jose. The mall has a chip on it. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry. Yes, tell uh -huh. me. Okay. Yes, we are, we are doing the sentences. Uh -huh. We have some doubts. Okay, tell me. Uh, for example, uh, in the first one, for example, I don't know if it's uh -huh. good to say the mock is shipped mm -hmm. uh -huh. and uh, using a, as, as an adjective. Right. As a noun, there is a ship on the mock. Right, perfect. Um, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, perfect. And, and the second one, for mm -hmm. example, the pen is leaking. The what? The pen is leaking. Okay, yes. Uh, the pen has a leak. That's right. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. You're doing good. Okay, we're, we're working on it. That's very good. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how, how you... Teacher. <laughs> 
Hi, Noe. Hi, Jose. Hi. <laughs> We finished. You finished. Let me see. The jeans are torn. The seat is broken. The car is dented. The faucet is leaking. The scale is damaged. Very good. Good job. Mm -hmm. The cup is broken as a uh, uh, adjective. Ah, okay. Of course. No hace la diferencia. <laughs> There is ah, okay. Ahí lo se ha complicado porque están usando broken y broken no existe como nombre. Ya, ya. No como ya as. Lo, Ajá. Ya me lo imaginaba. <laughs> so in that case, you can write the the cup is chipped. Porque chip sí existe como nombre. Chip. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Ay, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> chip. Right, yeah. As an adjective. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Very good. Pero quita el cup. There is a chip. There is a chip. Yeah. Chip si le what? quiere poner on, on my cup, entonces. Uh, my cup is cheap. There is a chip on my cup, or you can say my, my cup has a chip, depende. Si mm. lo va a cambiar, ajá, exacto. Y quítele list. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The pen, ah, acuérdese que con leaking y está en la plataforma, no sé si ya la ha visto. Lo vieron. Leaking es el, uno de los eh, que no terminan con ED, sino que terminan con ING. The pen is leaking. There is a leak uh, on my pen, maybe. Estoy pensando en el caso a Kale Anderson, Tich. ¿Y eso? ¿Usted sabe quién es él? No. Ah. Un, un fulano bueno. que está enseñando inglés en línea. Ajá. ¿Y okay. qué pasó? Pero bueno, dejémoslo así, Tich. Qué barbaridad. Que aprende como en tres horas que él está hablando con usted. Usted es el master en inglés. Ah, en serio. Así es la promoción. Wow. Qué genial. No, dice que hice usar la gramática. Ah, es lo mejor. Sí. Pero bueno, sigamos usando. Continúe, Chontiche. Continuemos usando la gramática. All right, there is a leak. Ok, pero quítele el pen. Si solo va, um, usted puede decir, hay, hay como una gotera o un goteo. En mi yes, lapicero, and it's in my pen. Y si solo hay un goteo, no le pongan dónde. Ah, okay. Mm. ok. Pero o, podríamos ponerle en my pen. El, oh, sí. There is a leak in my pen. En my pen. O puede decir, my pen has a leak. Mm. Ok, déjame decir. <laughs> The CD is a scratch. There is a scratch. Igual, la número 6. Quítele el CD al final o póngale in my CD. Uh -huh. Oh, my CD has a scratch. Okay. Y quite, uh -huh, uh -huh. The pair of glasses. Uh, the pair of glasses are cracked. Porque me está diciendo del, el, el, the pair of glasses. Uh -huh. There, there is a crack. Ah, solo hay una, hay una rajadura en el lente. Entonces, there is. Y quítele el ah. R. Quítele el R. There is a crack. Como All decía my... Pyre. A pair, yeah. There is a, a, there is a crack R. on my pair of glasses. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En la primera sí es R, en Noemi, porque estamos hablando de lo, par de lentes. Pero nosotros estamos hablando de la rajadura, y es una rajadura. Mm, ok. Mm -hmm. The pair of jeans are torn. Very good. 
there is a tear. Okay, igual cuántas, cuántas eh, hoyos o no sé, en, o cuántas, ¿cómo se llama eso en español? Ajá. ¿Cuántas bueno. rasgaduras? Ajá, vaya, ¿cuántas, ¿cuántas rasgaduras hay en su, en su jeans? ¿Es una bueno. o dos? Pues no se ve. No es que no se distingue, claro, no sabemos si, está, <risa> si es que está manchado el jeans porque está palidito. Vaya, pero, oh, pero okay. bueno, entonces usted decida, bájelo o súbalo, no sé, quiero verlo. All right. No, no, no. no usted lo, lo contestaron. Ok. okay. Are, si usted quiere poner que hay varias, there are, y póngale, quítele la A y póngale la S. Porque In A de no are... uno. En el jeans. No, ahí en esa palabra de ser. There are, are tear. There are tear on. Sí, pero entonces agréguele S al, al tear, que es tear. Tears. Okay. There are tears on the pair of jeans. Uh -huh. The shirt is a stain, there is a stain on the shirt. Para la última, on a shirt, or in my shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Finish. Excellent. Y José no está de reloj, ya me tendría que haber dicho, ya, teacher. Faltan dos, teacher, faltan dos. Oh, my goodness. All right, very good. Vamos entonces, de regreso, pues. Okay. All right, guys, finished? Yes. More or less, yeah? All right, very good, Norma. Excellent. Okay. So remember that the idea here is to teach you how to make sentences saying or expressing the problem in different ways, okay? Now the idea is for you to master the three different ways there are, okay? So for every, for like in these examples that we were working on, you can say, for example, uh, my dress is stained, as adjective, or you can say there is a stain on my dress, or my dress has a stain. At the end of the day, you're saying exactly the same thing. You're expressing the same problem, but in different ways, okay? Just make sure how to make it properly. As a noun or as an adjective. As a noun, you have two choices. You can use there is, or you can say there is, there are, or you can say have or has. As adjective, only the, the, the verb be, all right? There is a stain, I mean, sorry, the, um, my dress is stained, all right, as adjective, that's the only way, all right, as adjective. As noun, you can say there is a stain, y la puede dejar hasta ahí. Por ejemplo, yo le levanto un vestido y le digo, hay una mancha. Obviamente, ya no le digo en mi vestido porque se lo estoy enseñando. All right? Ahora, si yo no se lo estoy enseñando, usted me dice, ¿a dónde hay una mancha? En mi vestido. All right? Entonces, yo le digo, there is a stain on my dress. Right? Entonces, on my dress va al final. O solo le puedo decir, si usted lo está viendo, le digo, there is a stain. All right? There is a stain right now on my dress. O le digo, my dress has a stain. Ok, entonces, acuérdese que si uso, my dress has a stain, my dress es el sujeto. All right, has es has, have or has, solo es un vestido, my, my dress has a stain, a stain is a noun. All right, si quiero usar there is o there are, usted dice, hay una mancha, ¿a dónde? Puedo omitir el dónde o puedo decir dónde. Eso es up to you, pero si lo va, le va a agregar a dónde está la mancha, es al final. Uh, there is a stain on my dress. O solo lo deja there is a stain. ¿Ok? Como adjetivo decimos my dress is a stain. Mi vestido está manchado. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mancha y manchado, very different. It's the same thing in Spanish. Lo que pasa que no. Visto así, visto así. All right, that's the difference. That we say, do we do that in Spanish? We do. <laughs> and it's more complicated in Spanish than English. All right, it is, Eric, believe me. 
the <laughs> Spanish grammar is super complicated. It's crazy. We speak it, we think it's easy, but Spanish grammar is very, very complex. Okay, but that's okay. Gracias a Dios que no tenemos que aprender español porque nacimos hablando español. <laughs> right, all right, very good, guys. So, tomorrow we're going to change topics in case you have problems again and if you don't understand it. We can all like you can always tell me and we can always review the topic before. All right. The idea is for you to feel comfortable with everything. Okay. Uh, as soon as we finish the class, I'm gonna send this presentation that is more complete than the one that we used yesterday. I'm gonna send it to the group right now. Okay. So you can always go back and take a look at it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. I know it's very late. Yeah. Go to sleep. All right. Study. Yes, bye, guys. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Have, have a good night. Have a good night. Good night.